Hi there, in this video we will do an economic application of the matrix inversion method where we know the matrix inversion method is simply the process of using matrix inverse to find out the equilibrium values of the unknown variables in an equation system. So this is the equation system. First is the conditional equation of the market equilibrium. Second is the behavioral equation of demand function and the third is the supply function and in its equation form. So this is the system that we are dealing with. Uh, there are three unknowns Q, D, Q, S and they are equal uh, with the virtue of this equation. So the other unknown would be price. So we can write this system in this way and that standard way is that we have a coefficient matrix which is known as A and we have x which is the matrix of the variables involved in the system of equations and b is the matrix of the constants so let us rearrange this here we have uh, qd and qs so qd remains there and we bring qs here so it becomes minus qs this is why qd brings one and qs brings minus one and we do not have any price variable here so its coefficient will be zero then we have the other equation qd has one and then we will shift uh, the other variable here qs is absent here so here it will have a zero coefficient and then we will uh, transfer this term containing p and this minus bp will become plus bp when we shift it here so that plus b will appear here as the coefficient of the third variable that is price and then we have uh, the uh, third equation qd has no presence here so its coefficient will become zero even if we bring it here so there we are the uh, coefficient of qd is zero coefficient of qs is one because it has a positive sign with it and then we have price and its coefficient is d so it also appears here so we have mentioned the equations in a more elaborated way as you can see in the orange color uh, the um, term which was missing in this first equation is mentioned that is term containing price and in this second equation qs was missing so we created its place as well and here qd was missing in the third equation and we created its place as well now the constants are on the right hand side this is why the extraction of the coefficients matrix is easy the variables matrix and the constant matrix um, you can see that this is one one zero so one one zero minus one zero plus one minus one zero plus one and 0 b minus t 0 b minus t and the order is the same that is qd qs and then price these are the three variables and we have written them in the same order this is the constant matrix now we can solve this uh, we can easily solve the determinant you can pause the video and calculate the determinant it will be equal to this because this is the precondition for finding the inverse and here it is not equal to zero which allows us to find out the determinant and hence the um, inverse of the matrix so it's a non-singular matrix because its determinant is not equal to zero and then we have this uh, inversion of this equation we want to find out x so a is shifted to the other side and it becomes a inverse and for a inverse we have a joint and we have uh, here this is the adjoint again we have learned this before that the adjoint is found by finding the cofactors and then making its transpose so this was the original uh, matrix and we have found the um, cofactors and then we have taken its transpose and then we got this uh, adjoint and then um, we have to divide it with the determinant this is the determinant value and b is also there at the end getting multiplied now we can solve this and once we do we have uh, multiplied this term inside 
and uh, as a common factor we can write it uh, or otherwise we can write it after multiplying here uh, we have multiplied this um, outside term this term and that term and that term here and when we multiply these two matrices we will get this matrix now we can clearly see that uh, qd is equal to minus bracket start ad minus bc bracket close divide by minus bracket close bracket start d minus b and qs also has the same value because at equilibrium both of them are equal and price has this value which is minus bracket start a plus c bracket close divide by minus d plus b bracket close so equilibrium values are found by using the matrix inversion method this is how we can apply the matrix inversion method on an economic situation where the market equilibrium is to be evaluated thank you